Brock Purdy is second in QBR behind Josh Allen. Josh Allen, 75.3. Brock Purdy, 74.9. Patrick Mahomes, number three at 73. That means Brock Purdy officially has surpassed Patrick Mahomes as a better quarterback. Isn't that true? Here's the thing. Like, this isn't an attack on Brock Purdy. What I'm, what I'm about to say, it's an attack on QBR. Stop relying on QBR to define who, like, it, a certain reporter was pointing out passer rating at one point for Jimmy Garoppolo because Jimmy Garoppolo had a good passer rating. Now it's QBR because Brock Purdy has a good QBR, right? Like, enough with that stuff. Watch the film, consider the team, consider the coach, all of these things. Here's a, a, a this should tell you a lot about QBR. Right now, Gardner Minshew is ranked higher than Jared Goff, Kirk Cousins, Lamar Jackson, CJ Stroud, Trevor Lawrence, Matt Stafford, Russell Wilson, and Joe Burrow. According to QBR, Gardner Minshew is better than all of those quarterbacks, and he's the eighth best quarterback in the mm-hmm. NFL, according to QBR. I knew right? that. You didn't it, know that? It, it, it makes no sense. I mean, think about it this way. And, and here, let, let me give you some stats on Gardner Minshew. Eight touchdowns, five interceptions, 63% completion percentage, yet he's eighth in rating. C.J. Stroud, 14 touchdowns, one interception, and 62%. So 1% different on completion percentage, but Gardner Minshew is ranked four spots ahead of C.J. Stroud. Mm -hmm. He's ranked six spots ahead of Joe Burrow. Like, stop relying on QBR. All I'm asking, the reason I want to talk about this is just as fans, analyze what you see on the field. Consider everything. Consider the team. Like, look at the film. Look at the players. Look at the weapons. Look at the play caller when you're analyzing quarterbacks. If you're just going to throw at me QBR, I'm going to write off your conversation. Sounds good to me. I don't even understand. Yeah. If if you're going to use a stat that no one will explain how to formulate, calculate, yeah. don't use it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. And football is too complex, man. It's not like baseball, right? Baseball, you can do batting percentage and you know how good of a hitter they are. Yeah. It's not like baseball, man. It's There's so many moving parts. There's 53 players. There's a million coaches. There's these different opponents. There's scheme. Like There's all these things that factor in. Trying to quantify that in a rating system for a quarterback is just it, have a deeper conversation than that. Also, why isn't QBR dinging Brock Purdy more for his struggles in the fourth quarter? It seems like whatever happens in the fourth quarter should be weighted more than the rest of the game. Like I keep hearing people say, like, hey, man, Brock played some of his best football in those first three quarters the last few games. Like, so? So how many turnovers did he commit in the fourth quarter, though? I'd rather have a guy who struggles for three quarters and pulls out a victory somehow, some way in the fourth quarter than a guy who plays really great for three quarters and finds a way to a way to lose at the end. I don't want that yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who Brock is, but that's who he was the last two weeks. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. I mean, it's still early on Brock Purdy. I, I need to see like two full seasons of of a quarterback before I really get a grasp of who they are. Um, so it's early on Brock Purdy. He can like he can just ball out the rest of his career from him there on out. You know, he's always going to have one or two bad games, but it's what he does over the averages of the whole thing that kind of determine on who you are.